Capital cities are living things. They are ever-changing and ever-evolving. Right at the heart of Ireland's capital, there's a street that's a focus for the city's energy. A place that embodies the atmosphere, the character and the sense of fun that makes Dublin so special for visitors and Dubliners alike. Grafton Street has grown to become more than just a street. It's a meeting place, a fashion parade, a playground. I love the buskers and coming in here and the music and stuff. I think that's my favourite. It's real Irish or something. Yeah. There's a good vibe going on here, you know. It's a good vibe. It's just the street that has everything in it. Meet up got, with friends. Yeah, and... go shopping or go sit up in Stephen's Green. Yeah, just the use. <laughs> Grafton Street was once just a city lane. In 1708, it was developed as a residential street, linking two of Dublin's greatest public spaces, St. Stephen's Green at one end and College Green at the other. It rapidly became one of Dublin's most fashionable addresses. When the Carlisle Bridge, now O'Connell Bridge, was built, connecting the north and south sides of the river, Grafton Street became a centre for shopping and business. Taking the cars and buses off the street was the moment that the modern Grafton Street was born. I think since it became pedestrianised, it has developed a kind of an image of its own within Dublin. You can hear the music even today. There's busking on the streets, street performers, flower sellers, slap bang, in the centre of the street. Um, it just has a unique character that nowhere else has. The existing streetscape of red brick was laid in the late 1980s. Now, it's time for a makeover. Dublin City Council has begun an improvement scheme on Grafton Street to update the street's paving and street furniture. You can see that the existing materials are worn out the red brick is a bit dated. So what we've tried to find is, is a good palette of traditional Dublin materials. The new paving slabs will primarily be granite, a high quality natural stone, much of it quarried from the mountains less than an hour south of Grafton Street. We want to keep it relatively simple, not too busy, because there's a lot of vitality in the individual character of the buildings. Replacing the street surface will take around 18 months, but to minimise disruption, the project will take place in five distinct phases, starting at the St Stephen's Green end, then switching to the Nassau Street end before working up the street to completion. This project is occurring at the same time as the Lewis Cross City project and the City Council is coordinating the project teams to ensure that disruption and disturbance is kept to a minimum. The City Council has developed a public realm strategy and the Grafton Street project is the first phase of that strategy being implemented and there are many phases to follow. The businesses on the, the street really welcome this improvement scheme. Over the last while the, the street hasn't looked as good as it could and now with the, the improvement works it will. So basically the environment will match the quality of the offering on the street and that's something that's obviously very welcomed by everybody. All the shops are going to remain open during that period. Uh, access to all the shops will be maintained. It's going to be a really welcoming environment. Throughout this scheme uh, we'll be open for business and everybody will be open for business. I think it's the kind of scheme that Grafton Street deserves and uh, I can't wait for the project to start. Work will stop for the busy Christmas season and the January sales. The new look Grafton Street will be ready in time for Christmas 2014. When we have it done it's going to be fabulous. If Grafton Street does well and is looking well and is a good place to visit, the city will do well. The Grafton Street Improvement Scheme. Changing. Improving open for business.